Hi there, I'm Jay, I'm Ruben's Guardian, uh, I'm an engineer for an organic vegetable company. Mr and Mrs Twit go off to buy guns. The next morning, when Mr Twit came out with his huge basket, not a single bird was sitting on either the monkey cage or the big dead tree. They were all perched happily on the roof of Mr Twit's house. The roly-poly bird was up there as well, and the monkeys were in the cage. And the whole lot of them were hooting with laughter at Mr Twit. I'll wipe that silly laugh off your beaks, Mr Twit screamed at the birds. I'll get you next time, you filthy feathered frumps. I'll wring your necks, the whole lot of you, and have you in bubbling in a pot for bird pie before the day is out. How are you going to do that? asked Mrs Twit, who had came outside to see what all the noise was about. I won't have you smearing sticky glue all over the roof of our house. Mr Twit got very excited. I've got a great idea, he cried. He didn't bother to keep his voice down because he didn't think the monkeys could understand. We'll both go into town right away and we'll buy a gun each. He shouted. How's that? Brilliant, cried Mrs Twit, grinning and showing her long yellow teeth. We'll both buy big shotguns that spray about 50 bullets or more with each bang. Exactly, said Mr Twit. Lock up the house while I go and make sure the monkeys are safe, shut away. Mr Twit went over to the monkey cage. Attention, he barked in his fearsome monkey trainer's voice. Upside down, all of you. Jump to it, one on top of the other. Quick, get on with it, or you'll feel Mrs Twit stick across your backsides. Obediently, the poor monkeys stood on their hands and clambered one on top of the other, with Mugglewump at the bottom and the smallest child at the very top. Now, stay there till we come back, Mr Twit ordered. Don't you dare move, and don't overbalance. When we return in two or three hours' time, I shall expect to find you all in the exact same position as you are now. You understand? With that, Mr Twit marched away. Mrs Twit went with him, and the monkeys were left alone with the birds. Mugglewump has an idea. As soon as Mr and Mrs Twit had disappeared down the road, the monkeys all flipped back onto their feet the right way up. Quick, get the key! Mugglewump called out to the roly-poly bird, who was still sitting on the roof of the house. What key? shouted roly-poly bird. The key to the door of our cage, cried Mugglewump. It's hanging on a nail in the workshed. That's where he always puts it. The roly-poly bird flew down and came back with the key in his beak. Mugglewump reached a hand through the bars of the cage and took the key. He put it in the lock and turned it. The door opened. All four monkeys leapt out together. We are free, cried the two little ones. Where shall we go, Dad? Where shall we hide? Don't get excited, said Mugglewump. Calm down, everybody. Before we escape from this beastly place, we have one very important thing to do. What? they asked. We're going to turn those terrible twits upside down. We're going to what? they cried. You must be joking, Dad. I'm not joking, Mugglewump said. We're going to turn both Mr and Mrs Twit upside down with their legs in the air. Don't be ridiculous, Roly Poly Bird said. How can we possibly turn those two maggoty old monsters upside down? We can, we can, cried Mugglewump. We're going to make them stand on their heads for hours and hours, perhaps forever. Let them see what it feels like to, for a change. How? said the Roly Poly Bird. Just tell me how. Mugglewump laid his head on one side, and a tiny, twinkling little smile touched the corners of his mouth. Now and again, he said, but not very often. I have a brilliant idea. This is one of them. Follow me, my friends, follow me. He scampered off towards the house, and the three other monkeys and roly-poly bird went after him. Buckets and paintbrushes, cried Mugglewump. That's what we want. There are plenty in the workshed. Hurry up, everyone. Get a bucket and a paintbrush. Inside, Mr Twit's workshed, there was an enormous barrel of hug-tight sticky glue. The stuff he used for catching birds. Fill your buckets, Mugglewump ordered. We are now going into the big house. Mrs Twit had hidden the key to the front door under the mat, and Mugglewump had seen her doing it. So it was easy for them to get in. In they went, all four monkeys, with their buckets of sticky glue. Then came the roly-poly bird, flying in after them, with a bucket in his beak and a brush in his claw. Thank you very much for listening. Enjoy the rest of the book.